It's uh, slim pickings in the form of creativity on the Marvel Snap ladder right now. If you are up in the higher ranks of the game, the metagame feels very stale and is a lot of Thanos and Shuri Zero. So we're out here looking for decks and brewing decks that are a little bit different and have the ability to at least climb, even if they aren't quite as powerful as those two decks. And today, this is one that has been found on my Twitter feed. I believe this has been played by a number of content creators. I think it originally came from the Hooglandia Marvel Snap channel. And I think it was a really sweet one to showcase today. It's something that's very different from anything else you can be doing in Marvel Snap right now. Let's take a look at Beast Hawk Bounce. This is a kind of throwback to an old archetype that saw a lot of play a little while ago in Marvel Snap. and kind of hasn't had the same level of success in quite a while. Looking to utilize the power pairing of Beast and Fat. Falcon. These are two cards that let you rebuy cards you had in play uh, at a cheaper price in Beast's case or just all your one cost cards if you're playing with Falcon in order to reuse those powerful on reveal effects and gain more stats on cards like Angela and Bishop. This deck has evolved a little bit since we saw it play last. It now gets to do a couple of very powerful things with Bast. Most of this deck is just way, way below three power and Bast can provide you with extra jumps of power as a result. In fact, it can do it multiple times because you're really capable of picking the card up and playing it multiple times throughout the game. It has a really sweet combo with Mysterio that not many people are aware of that allow all three of your Mysterios to be three power at the end of the game, meaning that you are basically creating a very small Doctor Doom with your Mysterio if you compare it with Bast. Speaking of Mysterio, it obviously plays very well with Bishop as well, another card that loves to be played in a deck where we're playing cards repeatedly every single turn and also has less than three power for that Bast as well. The rest of this deck is very much a Dark Hawk package and good on reveal cards to abuse with these effects. Darkhawk right now just shining more than ever because of how good it is into Thanos, giving you a very, very large card to challenge a lane all by itself. And we get to pair this one with Black Widow and Korg as our ways of making our opponent's deck larger. We even have the ability to rebuy these with our bounce effects and do it over and over again. Our other one cost cards here are Iceman and The Hood. The Hood in this deck is arguably the most ridiculous card, being able to make many, many 6-6 six, six demons over and over. Uh, Iceman, just one of the best pieces of interaction in the game, great to rebuy with these bounce effects. Uh, at the moment, uh, one of your only ways of dancing with Shuri Zero's best the draws. Uh, last but not least, we have America Chavez in this deck for consistency's sake to kind of tie the room together and make sure you're drawing those bounce effects ahead of time. You'll often be able to play Chavez on that last turn because so much of your hand will already be in play or cost zero thanks to a card like Beast. Really love the idea of this deck in theory at the moment. Really good pieces of interaction. I love the idea of exploring Dark Hawk and Bast together a little more in the near future. But let me know what you think. Is this a deck that interests you? Will you be picking it up and trying it out on the Marvel Snap? ladder or are you just one of the people that thinks we need a balance patch more than anything else right now let me know in the comment section down below make sure you subscribe to the channel here at marvel snap zone for more daily marvel snap content and until next time enjoy the games for this one and i'll see you again very very soon have a good one because my opponent's about to fill up so much space but they do have extra tight extra energy now with this time stone we find a falcon is that better than the alternative that's kind of interesting. I think I haven't got enough hand space to do it all. But we can try, I suppose. Then we don't make an extra beast this way because we don't have any space to put it. Opponent with the blue marble. Gonna have another one of those to worry. Actually, another two of those to worry about. And we just redistribute the wealth here, right? We get to go six, six. No dark orc here, kind of blows. Hmm. 
Yeah, opponent's out of here. I had to think about how to do this properly. It was going to take me a hot second. No Dark Orc here is fine, but opponent can only really make two blue marbles if they want to. So we can just duplicate these demons, these hoods, these icemen, these black widows just all over the place. Trigger Anjo a few more times. Really cool. Okay. This is an interesting style of hand. I think I'm hold holding this Bast for additional value. Play it on turn two, play the bishop on three. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be fine. What about the Psylocke? Okay, something a little bit different on the other side. Maybe some negative. Negative would be cool. I think we need to fill this raft, unfortunately. Wong, okay. Finally going to work on all the lovely, lovely on reveals. Uh, okay. This is a good draw. So if we just go like this. Fill the raft, give our opponents a Widow's Bite. We gain a leader. Well, isn't that interesting? <laughs> Imagine... Imagine playing around the uh, the hazmat loot cage. That's beyond funny to me. I kind of don't want to bass now because I have this leader. So I think it just looks like this. Widow's Bite Iron Man for my opponent, sure. Well, there is another Widow's Bite for you. We draw our Chavez. And I think... This is just Leader Chavez Bast. Very cool. Very, very cool. Victory. That's a sweet game, that one. The the beast to completely ignore Luke Cage hazmat was just oh, icing on the cake. Crimson Cosmos are oh, such a bad location for us. Um Makes me think we're waiting on these because we won't have the space to play. Well, we're gonna have to play them into their uh, zeros after we beast them out, I think. Real nice looking Quinjet from the other side. Almost certainly Thanos as a result, I would think then. Okay. Uh, Dark Orcs are good in, so we'll go Angela Iceman here. Opponent with Lockjaw Space Stone on turn two. Oh, this is going to be a rough one. They do pull a Sunspot, which is something at least. So... guess I would rather have multiple demons and give up Crimson Cosmos, just because I'm not going to win Crimson Cosmos very often anyway. Opponent will Reality Stone. Turns into a danger room. It's a little, little dangerous, to say the least. Widow. Widow's quite good here, right? So we're going to have to win some danger room rolls to have a shot at this, but it's kind of what we signed up for, right? Time stone in for the opponent. Shang-Chi out. We can work with that.
So we have got a decent bit of reach to work with here. So this is definitely a Chavez game, no doubt. So in a world where this is a Chavez game, we're going... How big is the start cock? Really big. Maybe it's not a Chavez game? I feel like Demon Mysterio is going to be worth more. Than, uh, than the Chavez, which is kind of crazy. We ride. Pono sends the Widow's Bite in. Daredevil on the way back out. Yeah, the Spider-Man Spider doesn't matter. That's okay, we weren't, we weren't playing over there, I promise. Oh. Well, we weren't playing over there. And I think my opponent's arrow may have just won us the Crimson Cosmos, which is beyond hilarious. So how do I win another lane now? Like, this is such a gamble. I feel like we're supposed to do this. Valkyrie. Jeez, that was close. Victory. Whew. That's a sweet ass game. That's a that's a turn two lock draw being beaten off my opponent's own arrow. Wild. I love this archetype. I think it's great. This seems like it's reasonably playable, but I feel like some of that is definitely because the you know Dark Hawk is just a very very good card right now. Um, I do think the synergy between Bast Mysterio is like underexplored. Um, I want to want to play that in some more shells in the future, alongside Bishop, of course, for the the value there. Um, but this deck is great. This deck is a blast. It's not it's not on the same level as something like Thanos Lockjaw or Shuri Zero, um, but you can definitely beat those decks. You can definitely climb with this, and it's it's hella complex. Offers micro decisions and is a lot of fun. So I highly recommend picking it up. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please do consider subscribing to the channel. It would be lovely to see you for more Marvel Snap content in the very near future. But until then, take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. I've been Howling Minds. You've been amazing. And this has been Marvel Snapstone. Take care of yourself. Have a good one.